I care for my daughter Teresa. She'll be 51 in September. She has Dravet syndrome, uh, which isn't very well known. Um, she was what they thought was normal in those days, and then they thought she was severe learning disability. She is severe learning disability with Dravet's, which is quite complex. I go to Carers Bucks in Ardenham Court, Aylesbury, uh, first Thursday in every month. And quite honestly, I miss it when they're not having a meeting, which is only about twice a year, really. Because you meet the friends that you've now got each month, and you meet and get to know Vonnie, um, who I'm absolutely grateful for because she's helped me out no end. I mean, I've been distressed, um, and she got me one or two things on loan, which I've now replicated, so to, so to speak. Yeah, so I enjoy it. If you've got any child or even I suppose your elderly parents, anybody that you're looking after, the first thing is to try and keep yourself fit and healthy, uh, eat properly and so on, but don't be ashamed or afraid to ask for help because eventually it will um, hit you like a brick sometimes. It did with me on one day when I went to Carers Bucks. Um, I was really down in the dumps, had a good cry, and they helped me. So ask, ask, and ask again. Get all the help you can get, you know, physiotherapy help, occupational, if you need equipment. And I didn't, for a number of years, get that help. Not because I didn't ask, they just didn't seem to know who we were. So check that they know who you are, for starters. You never think of your child being aggressive to you, and that's a... That is quite hard. And Teresa is only aggressive towards me is when she's going into the seizure mode. So she can come out of her bedroom and I know instantly because she's staring and she's coming at me. So I'm well prepared now. I kind of uh, know how to get out of... I've had my neck squeezed many, many times and my hair pulled tremendous amount of times however it only does last for a minute approximately after that she's a bit tired and then she's a wonderful charming lovely person that she really is if I've got an angina attack and I'm waiting for the GTN spray to kick in she knows something is wrong she can't go and get me anything but she does put an arm around you and she's loving and caring and wants to care for you but she doesn't know how to any more than that and she can't help me as a, a mother getting older we, we've re, we can't reverse that role at all i've got to keep strong and well and I've already said to everybody and anybody, I'm going to live till I'm 90 because then I think I'll have done this what, what best I can. When I look at her, I see in her eyes the Teresa that I first had. A lot of that has gone, but in her eyes and in her way she looks sometimes, I think, blimey, is it really 51 years?